Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Tauruses their weekly love read. Taurus, this is for the week of December 19th through the 25th. Um, guys, just keep in mind that the readings are actually timeless. Whenever you run across the read is when it's meant for you. I put the time in there just so I know when I'm getting content out or not. So just keep that in mind. This is a general reading about what's coming towards you in love, Tauruses. Um, so if you feel like this is not your read, go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. Um, and check those out those might be more accurate if you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are there is a link in the description box below that'll give you that information there's also a link in the description box below that'll bring you to my personal web page if you're interested in a personal read um, starting in january i think i'm increasing the prices right now they're quite cheap if you're looking for a personal read um thank you for coming to my channel i don't think i forgot anything if i did Sorry. <laughs> Let's get into what's coming towards you in love, Taurus. I actually went back from backwards from Pisces to Aries. So this is uh, the end of my evening. Forgive the sluggishness and the tiredness. I feel kind of bad um, because this is usually what Aquarius is and Pisces get um, because I'm so tired. And now Aries and Taurus, you guys are getting this. So I apologize. But all right. So let's see what you have coming towards you in love. The bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. I feel like um, this is going to be a situation in which it's completely balanced. It is going to be an equal give and take in the relationship. So this is not going to be something where you feel like you're putting in all of the effort and the other person's just kind of half-assing it. This is going to be a very stable give and take um, balance between you and this person coming towards you. I feel like, guys, I feel like you have been kind of in this hangman mode, um, or you could potentially be dealing with a Pisces, I guess. Um, we have also the Queen of Cups, which could be a water sign, Nine of Cups, um, and then the Knight and the Queen of Swords, air signs. But um, I feel like you have been in this, this hangman energy where you are kind of surrendering to what is. I feel like you are letting go and letting God, and you're like, you know what? I can only control so much, and so I'm just going to stay here and heal. And I feel like that's the, the position that you were in. I feel like that prompted you to kind of focus on your emotional stability, um, focus on what it is that you want out of life, and what is it that you need to be happy um, inside yourself and not out externally and, and providing that happiness. But I feel like this person coming towards you is going to be a wish fulfillment as well with this Nine of Cups energy. I feel like this person is going to be compassionate, uh, empathetic, sympathetic, a nurturer, a caretaker, a provider, someone that wants to just kind of show you how much they love you. I don't know if they're going to um, 100% well, actually, because of this Queen of Swords here, I feel like they will be able to speak to how they feel about you as well. Um, the Queen of Swords is quite direct in her nature. She's very um, to the point, very intellectual. Sometimes she can be a little bit cold, but I don't really feel like um, that's going to be the situation. I think she's going to become running towards you to tell you how she thinks and feels. Um, she's going to be direct again. She's going to be... Um, quick to tell you where she stands and I think it's potentially because she is such an analytical thinker and does think a lot but this person is also going to be loving caring and emotional fulfilling so I feel like you have kind of like the best of both situations someone who's able to communicate someone who's able to show love um, someone who is truly in love with you is what's coming towards you and they're going to be coming in in the night of uh, swords kind of energy to to tell you and it's going to be very balanced this could be somebody that kind of keeps tabs on you from social media right now this is a true mate true mate true love soulmate energy potential wedding all right Taurus is you ready let's get some love and romance journey cards from Queen Sugar Tarot for Tauruses abandonment which came right out on the hangman reunion date night Harmony, which is the Six of Pentacles and Dreams and Illusions. Yeah, I feel like, um, guys, you you were dealing with abandonment issues, right? And that's probably why you prompted yourself to kind of go into this hermit, or sorry, hangman energy um, to get some healing. I feel like you were kind of being presented with like dreams and illusions, things that weren't really true that were coming to light, which created this abandonment. But I do feel a reunion is coming. Um, 
I didn't get reunion from the cards that I have here, but this could very well be a reunion. Um, date night, fun things to do, enjoying each other's company, and then again, harmony, which would be the same as the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you're like releasing your prior feelings and difficulties. Um, you are releasing your dreams and illusions that you had about the situation. And you will be reuniting and having date night and having harmony in the situation with someone who is extremely loving and caring. Um, illusion, was it fan what's fantasy or reality? So th this might actually be reflective too of this being like such a great connection that you're right. You're like, is this true? Is this not true? I don't know if I should trust this. So um, this is the Soul Reflections Love Oracle deck. Wedding Bells. Cupid, unrequited love, should I stay? Uh, love is coming. So I feel like, guys, maybe you were in a situation with some unrequited love and you were questioning if you should stay. Maybe that's part of that hangman energy. Maybe you were stuck and didn't really move. But I feel like um, when once you chose to make that move, if that's the case, to, to move forward, um, you did healing. You did a lot of healing in that hangman mode. What's coming towards you guys? You're going to be love stuck with Cupid's arrow. You're not even going to know if this is fantasy or for real because you're going to just be like, this is amazing and wedding bells. So I see a higher level commitment coming. Um, let's get some romance angel oracle cards for you from Doreen Virtue for Tauruses. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together and separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like you are leaving whoever you're with or will leave whoever you're with or have left or whoever you're with. But you're calling in your soulmate. You're calling in the real deal. You're calling in what you want. All right, let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages. I just dream and wish for everything. Yep. I have so much desire for you, which is like the Ace of Wands, that magic stick. Time to ground yourself. I'm a very jealous person. And gossip only hurt more. I'm manifesting you. That's the same thing as this. Manifesting a soulmate. I'm manifesting you. Um, which is like Ace of Cups, I think. Um, yeah, so I feel like in your previous situation, you were dealing with a very jealous person. Someone that was very gossipy. Someone that was very hurtful. Which prompted you to ground yourself. Um, then you got two ones and a seven. So one, one, seven. I just dream and wish for everything. I have so much desire for you and I am manifesting you. So that is what I see for that. Taurus, let's get some love vibe cards from the King of Aloha. Sorry guys, this one's going fast. Uh, we have, you're just my type. Don't ever put your life on hold for me, and I'm waiting for you to come to me. So this person's waiting for you to come to them, um, and they want to be with you. Let's get a Moonology card from Yasmin Boland. Expect powerful change, guys. New moon eclipse. Expect powerful change, and you're very close to achieving your goal. The Gibbous Moon. So you're very close to getting what you want, guys. I think once you get out of that hangman position, you're going to be achieving some goals that you want. Expect powerful changes. That was very quick, uh, Taurus says. My apologies. I don't know why it went so quickly. I think it was kind of direct and straight to the point. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this read. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Um, I appreciate your support today, every day, and always. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take care.